All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So finally, we had that level 12 Blackwing. I've been, every single time there's a new Blackwing card, I've pretty much been talking about this guy and hyping this guy up. I'm like, there is going to be a level 12 Blackwing. And uh, he is finally here. So we're going to go ahead and look at him and determine if he is worth the hype. So this is Assault Blackwing Onimaru, the Divine Swell. He is Dark, Wing Beast, Synchro, Effect Monster, level 12. Only 3,000 attack, 2,000 defense. 3,000 is a little bit low for a level 12. Like, when we think level 12, we think of some beast-ass monsters, you know? When you think level 12, you think Quasar. You think Assault Halberd. You think Ultimate Nightmare. Blue Eyes Ultimate, you know? Uh, Dragon Master Knight. Like, you think some high-ass attacks or some really great effects. So, 3,000, that's kind of low for a level 12. So, hopefully, his, uh, his effect will make up for it. So, um, surprisingly, he is generic. He is one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monster so if you can sync 12 i mean you can see you could have like you know like terror incarnate and a glow up bulb and make this if you want to i mean it's possible i mean i'm probably assuming that he has to do something with black wings and black wing related so it's, it's he's not going to be good generic but uh i mean you could do it you can totally do it so let's go ahead and uh look at this effect so if this card is synchro summon using a black wing monster as material it is treated as a tuner while face up on the field. Why do you need a level 12 tuner? <laughs> I mean, I mean, level 12 tuner? Okay, I, I believe this has synergy with another one of his effects, so let's go ahead and go to that effect. Um, uh, you can target one Blackwing monster in your graveyard. This card level becomes the same as that target. You can only use this effect of Assault Blackwing Onimaru, the Divine Swell, once per duel? Switching up your level with a level 12 synchro monster that becomes a tuner and switch like He is the pinnacle of The blackwing tuners am I correct? Like should I just assume that there's some other level 12 blackwing because he just seems like he's just going into another monster Which doesn't make any sense because you you are the pinnacle you are the level 12 you are the king so I'm just kind of confused like you summon this level 12 black blackwing synchro monster just for him to become a tuner and be able to level modulate and keep in mind you can only use this effect once per duel like maybe once per turn but once per duel like oh come on like nah now when you think of once per duel effects you think it's some powerful ass shit but this just level modulating off of some blackwing monster in your graveyard i mean that's tragodia's effect tragodia effect that you can only use once per duel cool him becoming a tuner like being the pinnacle level 12 yet it's pretty much saying like hey take this pinnacle level 12 level modulate him and then synchro summon into something else isn't that great like you don't see freaking quasar being like hey you know um i'm gonna go into something else okay you know you don't see freaking like a soul hubbard being like no no you are the pinnacle you are the end all be all the level 12 the the hot tamale of the black wing synchro monsters you we haven't had a black wing synchro monster any higher than you and all you do is just level modulate into something else. I don't like that. I don't. I personally don't like that. As he has other effects, so he cannot be destroyed by card effect. That's nice. That that's real nice. That he can only cannot be destroyed by card effect. It's like out of all the other things that you could probably do, you just can't be destroyed by card effect. I kind of wish that you know maybe you couldn't be you know targeted and destroyed by card effects. You know, or just targeted might have been even better. You know, I think I'd rather just get sacked by a Regeki than, you know, spun away by a Castell. Because that's pretty much what's going to happen to this guy. You're going to bust this guy out and you're probably going to be like, Castell, go away. Oh, damn, that's that. I mean, you can't be popped by Dark Destroyer and being 3,000, I mean, but then they can just crash into you and then they're going to float. So, mm. And then, the last effect. Uh, if this card attacks and was Synchro Summoned using only Synchro Monsters as a material. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, a lot of the Blackwing uh, Synchro Monsters have come tuners, and I was like, oh, well, you can easily go into that level 12 Synchro guy uh, with, like, Chidori and, and Rikiri and all the other ones that I don't care to remember the name of. But, yeah, you can, you can go ahead. You don't have to use a, uh, a Synchro Monsters, but you can. So you can do one tuner Synchro Monster and one non-tuner Synchro Monster. If you do that, and this card is using only Synchro Materials, you get this bonus effect. It gains 3,000 attack during the damage step only. So if this card attacks, it goes up to a 6,000 beater if you use secret materials to make it. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, it'd been nice that 
uh, if it was just a permanent effect that, you know, you got more bang out of your buck for just summoning this guy, but I guess, you know, he, he is generic, so, you know, busting out a 6,000 synchro after just for, you know, like I said, synchro summoning a glow-up bulb and a terror incarnate might be a little bit powerful, but, you know, if you do do it the correct way, the way that, uh, was done in the TV show with synchro monsters, then hey, when only when you attack, you get an uh, additional 3,000, so going up to a 6,000 beater is not terrible. Now, if someone comes after you, not when this card battles, uh, for example, if they come at you with, you know, something that's like 3,500, they come at you with that ultimate falcon, you're dead. <laughs> you know, it's simple as that, you're dead. You don't go to 6,000 when you're attacked, only when you attack. So that effect's kind of meh as well. And really, that's it. Like, that's it. Level modulating to go into another synchro monster when you're the pinnacle, don't like that. Being Not being able to show the card effects is okay. I mean, you can't get regekied and you can't get dark destroyed, but they can still crash into you and attack over you. And it's nice if you go ahead and use synchro materials as this, you go up to a 6,000 beater, but only when you attack, not when you're attacked. Really? It's just really, really anticlimactic. Uh, I was expecting something really, really strong. Uh, when it came to this card, when it was going to finally be released. I mean, he did use this card to defeat uh, uh, Shun and his ultimate Falcon, probably that last effect, to go ahead and go up to like a 6,000 beat and attack over. I believe its effect was a lot different in the show. I think it was like, it gains like, I want to say like 500 attack for each Blackwing monster in a graveyard, something really powerful like that. But instead, this is kind of just meh. So... I hope that they get, a, uh, and uh, this, uh, I'm probably going to throw up in my mouth for saying it, but I hope that they get a different level 12 Blackwing Synchro Monster that does something different because it just, this card just screams like, hey, I'm, I'm going to go into something else. So be prepared. And I just can't see it when you're the pinnacle. You know, if you would have told me that Quasar was going to go into something else, I'd been like, oh shit, you know, Quasar goes into something else. But this, I mean, it just screams like, hey, I'm going to go into something else. So I guess... Be, be prepared and impressed by that card because I'm not really that impressive. That's just how I feel about it. But hey, so uh, hopefully they can go ahead and uh, wrap up all these Blackwing cards. I believe in a the show they're going to be leaving the Synchro Dimension, heading to the XC Dimension soon. So hopefully, cross my fingers. I mean, I saw the new opening. Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you guys want to see the new opening, I will put a link in the description. So um, there's no crow, which is yay, no crow. So. Uh, maybe they'll be done with Blackwing cards, Blackwing support for a cool minute now, and we can stop getting new Blackwing supports every single freaking pack. Because it's just you know, if you if you gave the Blackwings just fantastic cards and it can build upon what they already have, then maybe I wouldn't be as upset as just hey, you give them another shitty card, and another shitty card, and another shitty card, and another shitty card, and until the Blackwing archetype is just flooded with shitty cards where only twenty percent of the cards that they actually have is actually decent to make it in the deck, while the other ones just you know filler shit so and i kind of kind of put this guy in the same boat he's not that great i mean maybe you can run one of your extra just in case you get to that chance to synchro summon that 12 but i wouldn't strive for it you know it's not like you it's it's a super invincible boss monster that you can't stop it's no megazord or you know towers or uh ultimate falcon it's just the kind of monster that says hey i'm gonna go into other shit i can't be destroyed by card effects but i can't be targeted and i can go up to a 6,000 beater only when i attack and only if you use uh, synchro monsters as material so it's just kind of meh in my opinion so tell me what you guys think about oni mario in the comment section below just <laughs> every single time there's a new blackwing card we'll keep looking at it but this this time just sadly just very disappointed for a level 12 synchro like come on level 12 synchro the pinnacle the, sh the highest level you can be in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's all you do oh come on like for goodness sakes towers Tower is I'm I'm not sure is the Megazord I'm not sure if the Megazord is rank twelve but I know Towers is level ten I know Ultimate Falcon is rank ten and they have better effects than you and you're a level twelve like oh come on so yep uh, anyway thanks for watching thanks for support see you guys on Wednesday with another card to look at thanks for watching.